Let's cut right to it. Today we're going to clean and lubricate your window sliders. So I'll show you exactly how to do it. I'll show you what products that I use, what works for me, and uh, it's really pretty easy. So let's jump into it. So welcome to my channel, Drive It Ryan. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. Check out some of my other videos after this video. Um, if you've been following for a while now, thank you for your support. And if you are one of those people, you know that I've been working on my 1995 Mazda Miata, slowly restoring it and turning it into a clean track slash street car. So real, real quick, I'm gonna show you how to take the window out of uh, NA Miata and I'll take the the whole window sliding assembly, if that's what you call it, where the window slides up and down to. I'm going to take the whole crank up style assembly out of it and clean it up, lube it up. should be good as new. So the door cards are already out because I set them out to get reupholstered with new leather. But on an NA Miata, they're very easy to take off. You just have to loosen the um, door handle. So there's three screws, one, two and then there's one behind there you can't see right now and then you have to take the manual window crank out so behind this i'll show you on the other one it's just a little clip so take a flathead screwdriver or a cloth and you could just pop it up and pry it out and then from there um it's just a bunch of little clips that hold the door card on so go around pop them out one by one and then you could lift the door card up and over this lip and it'll come out and then you'll be at this point. So from this point, we're gonna take the window out first so that we could take these sliders out so we could properly clean them. So there's one in there and one here. The first thing we need to do is get these little door stoppers out. I mean, window stoppers. These stop the window from going all the way up and blowing through your seal here. So there's two of these on an NA Miata, 10 millimeters, one, two. So we'll take those out. And then there's three 10 millimeter screws that hold the window glass itself to the rest of the assembly. So let's get right to that. three of these bolts are out so don't be worried because there's a clip that holds the window in place um, so the window won't fall when you take them out but now we can take the window out straight up and out voila time to clean it Kind of nasty. So if you're going through all the work to clean the window sliders, might as well clean the window and the bushings. So this is the only one that goes through the actual slider. These two are just stoppers. So that's why this is all nasty with lube on it. Uh, if yours is in really, really bad shape, you can get a brand new one. I'll put the link below, straight from Amazon. Um, nothing fancy, but if you need a new one, it's there. Um, I'm going to take everything out and clean the window. So these just unclip from the back side. They pop out. That's a 10 millimeter. That's a 10 millimeter. And this is a T30 Torx bit. So let's get this window nice and clean. Now we can take the rails out. So for this one, super easy. 14 millimeter nut here. And right there on the bottom. And for the other one, this assembly, it's a 14 millimeter right there, there. And then the same thing, there's two on the bottom here. And then we're also gonna have to take the crank off. So I think I showed you how before, but yeah, there's just a little clip, pop that out. And these are three 10 millimeter nuts. We also just have to take these out one, two, three it's uh they're eight millimeter bolts 
or you just use a Phillips head. We gotta drop the handle out because the cables behind here are pushed into the door from the back. So there's one, two, and then three. That clip back there is the reason why we gotta drop this out. So I'll do that quickly and then everything should be loose. sneaking everything out of this hole so this is gonna come out with the whole assembly obviously it's all attached um, but we have to loosen this rail that goes from here all the way down so that's connected by a 10 millimeter bolt here and up here we don't need to take it all out we just need to get it loose because behind here you can see we just gotta clear a little more space so that this could come out through the hole. So that's the reasoning for that. So two more bolts and then we should be able to snake it all out. All right. We are ready to get these all cleaned up. Now these are really not that bad, but it's a while you're in there kind of job. So really you don't need a lot of things. You're gonna need like four things actually. So this is an Ardex all purpose cleaner. I use this on a lot of things. I use it like on wheels um, before I wash them or as a bug and tar remover type product. It's good on interior panels. It's good for cleaning tires, good for degreasing engines. It's just a great all around all purpose cleaner that won't harm your paint, so I use it on a lot of things. This is uh, the whole gallon. Obviously, you don't need the whole gallon. You could dilute it, but I'll link this below. This will last you a very, very long time because you dilute it in one of these bottles. Like, I've got about this much Ardex in it, and the rest is just warm water. So, that's what I'm gonna use to spray it down, get all, everything loose. And then I'll wipe it all with a rag. Notice my rag's not minty fresh because I'm just going to use it to get this nasty stuff out. Then when it's time to reapply the lube, this is what you're going to want to use. Something like this. I'll link this below too. This is just Napa Sil Glide. So, uh, yeah, it's non-melting, non-freezing, non-gumming, weatherproof. It's the same stuff that's used in here. It even looks exactly the same. Well, it should it's the same stuff see so that's what i'm going to use with a q-tip everyone should have this in their house so let's get them cleaned up and then we'll reinstall it squeaky clean so now it's time to take a big bottle of lube and go crazy well not too crazy but you want to get lube on the inside here and then swirl it around all the way down this side doesn't need that much but uh yeah same same idea so let's get to that we're all lubed up ready for installation so installing it is the exact opposite of how you take it out 
I'm gonna clean the inside of the door all nice, reinstall it, then I'll put the window back in and we'll see how it goes. We are all clean. These are installed, but uh, I didn't tighten them down all the way because we have to wiggle them around when we put the window in. So the only thing we have to lube on the window side is this bushing. This is the one that slides in. These are just stoppers, so I'll lube that up, drop it in. Give it a test run. Not bad. Pretty smooth. It'll probably get better as it works itself in. All right. I'd say we did it. I'm not gonna put the door cards back on yet because doing a speaker install next. So look out for that video. Thank you all for watching. Hope you learned something or got something out of this video. That's it for this one. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out in the YouTube comments or on my Instagram at Drive it Ryan or Facebook at Drive it Ryan. But I'm not on Facebook as much as I am on Instagram and YouTube. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. And really, man, the focus is just leveling up. Cause I know the life I want, I'm just setting it up Removing those that's close who try messing it up Can't wait for champagne toast with the relevant bunch Like what's up, yeah, uh, like what you do homie What's your vision, how you thinking, how you move homie